Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of August 2nd through the 16th, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate. Uh, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you guys are um, wanting to book a personal reading, um, be sure to check the description box below on ways to reach me. Those of you that are wondering, this is called the Slow Tarot. Um, and then also today, the readings are a little shorter than usual. Um, so yeah, I need a, a tiny break today. <laughs> All right, so um, central issue, heart of the matter, we have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, we have the King of Wands, the Four of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. All right, so the overall energies is that I feel that you guys have something mapped out. It, it looks like you're making plans to move forward uh, with a love interest or if you're already in a relationship um, you may be feeling like you guys are needing to maybe move there's some sort of changes coming to your relationship if if you're in one um, it, it looks like moving or going away or relocating and you would miss your family um, but those of you that are single or you're dating, it does look like you're making some sort of plans to move forward. Um, maybe you feel like you've met someone who um, kind of gives you security or fulfillment. And so I feel that you are being proactive or if you're the one being pursued, your pursuer is being proactive. Yeah. Hmm. I feel that you guys are going to start making some sort of moves and then you stop and take a break. Um, I feel like you're still wanting more clarity. Like the signs are all pointing here. I feel like all the signs say go here. But at some point you still feel like you want to make sure that you're headed in the right direction. Now, also, if you're in a relationship, you might be, you know, trying to debate, like, should you stay or should you go? And it does look like taking a break. So if you're in an established relationship, maybe you're like, you know, you had the courage to say, I think we need to take a break. You know, I'm not happy. I need to figure out what's wrong. So if you're in a relationship, it looks like you're taking a break. Mm. Maybe you're going to stay with a friend or a family member. That's what it looks like. Even maybe at a hotel. I just feel like you need to get some clarity. Mm. Now there is a bit of sadness. Sometimes it still seems that you want to be alone or you feel misunderstood or like nobody gets you. So I feel like if you're dating, there is someone that you feel like is your match, but then it looks like you stop and ask yourself, are you really ready to start dating? Um, I feel like, especially if you went through a difficult breakup last time, you might be wanting to make sure that you're not carrying that old baggage into the new relationship. But I do feel like you're admired uh, there's someone that may be at a distance that or just if they're not at a distance, they're just quietly observing you. Um, and I feel like this person feels that you're um, secure, that you're attractive. I feel like they admire you for you being very independent and not coming off as a needy person. The only issue is that there could be some sort of communication problems. Like maybe your your love interest isn't speaking up 
um, or just still being too indirect or discreet or you are doing that. Someone is still a little hard to read. Also, if you're single and you haven't gone through any breakups recently, but you've been single for a while, then I feel like the person coming towards you is coming out of a breakup. And that's part of the reason why I said um, it might be that they're ready to date, but at the same time, still want to make sure that they're not bringing uh, old baggage with them. I feel like somebody walked away from a situation because they just did not, there was something missing. Um, there was some sort of emotional void or connection there. Again, if you're debating on if you should stay or you should go, I feel that you are, um, you're taking that time out to get clarity, but during that break, you do decide that it's, maybe it's best to move on. Pay attention to your dreams. Looks like there's um, some sort of hidden messages that's been coming through to your dreams. Uh, maybe someone has been trying to get your attention. If you're dreaming about an old relationship or old person if you don't miss them they might miss you and that might be why you're dreaming about them mm. for some of you you you're you're headed in a direction but it's like you don't understand why you just kind of feel like because spirit wants you to you're like i don't know why i'm doing this but i just feel like spirit wants me to do this and you, it's like you trust your spirit. I feel like in the past, um, an earth sign may have broke your spirit or broke your confidence. And it, it took you a long time to overcome that. It took a long time for you to find yourself or find your, your inner confidence again. I also get the energy of someone who is a loner, someone who seems like they like to spend time alone. They they need their free time. I feel like if this is someone coming towards you, that you're also being prepared for that. Um, not that someone doesn't want any strings attached, but they do like their alone time. So this also could be a reason why somebody is having a hard time finding someone because they don't understand when they need their alone time. So this person would need someone who's confident and okay if they wanna go and take a, a camping trip by themselves. Something looks like temporary housing or a temporary home. Maybe it's a vacation. Somebody staying at a hotel for vacation, or maybe you are camping out in a location where you're thinking about moving to, but you're testing it out first. So it's like you're maybe that, that is you just kind of spending time at a hotel and checking out the environment um, and, and trying to see, you know, where you want to live or settle down. Someone also might be coming to you uh, tempor and, and staying with you uh, temporarily. If it's a breakup, and then you might be calling up friends or family and asking, can you stay with them temporarily till you get on your feet? Um feel too that you need to have courage um, when it comes to your love life, especially if you're the pursuer. I feel like you need to have the courage to pursue the person that you're interested in. Um, I see I see flirtation, but sometimes the flirtation might be too subtle. 
and go unnoticed. You might have to do something that you don't normally like to do to get someone's attention. Or this is what your pursuer is going through. They're like normally maybe um, a private person or a quiet person. Um, they just like to drop hints here and there, but maybe that doesn't work with you. So I feel like somebody's being pushed to come out of their comfort zone. And matter of fact, it does look like they go from like whispering hi to like saying hi. You know, it just kind of looks like it goes from a, a small gesture to a, a bigger one. And it's saying, okay, now do I have your attention? I feel too that whoever you get involved with might be very um, intuitive, nurturing. Um, I'm getting confidence. I don't know. So I felt like there was a lack of confidence earlier or in some area of your life, but or your love life, I mean, or your um, love interests. But for the most part, I feel like if you're being pursued, the person that you're pursuing is very confident. Now, something also could start off as a friendship or a business relationship or some sort of partnership. You might be introduced to this person um, by a friend or a family member. Mm. You could you could have a relationship with someone where you guys belong to the same group or organization. Hmm. Something looks like a small group. It's like we met through a circle of friends or we met through this small group of individuals. It's a small group. Hmm. The other thing, if your relationship is fine and nobody's breaking up or leaving, then this this um, the leaving energy that I'm getting is um, having to either relocate or if you guys had a, a small business, I feel that maybe um, you had to let it go or make some sort of significant changes to, to the business. I'm getting business partnership though. Definitely business vibe, business partnership vibes here. Um, you also might want to start some sort of small business. Something's going to get established before the, the next two weeks, I feel. Something's going to be established, like um, a friendship is going to be established or a partnership or both, a business partnership or both. Something has the potential to be both business and romantic. If you start a new job or if you get hired somewhere, I feel that uh, you could meet the person at your job. It's one of your coworkers or it's a business client. And I also, one last thing, I feel like there's some unfinished business between you and an air sign. Um, Matter of fact, you could be dealing with either an air sign or another water sign or a, a fire sign. Yeah, so you might also be dating or needing to keep your options open. But either way, it looks like you feel like you found your match. There's something that you're looking for and I feel like you, but it takes um, work. Like this person needs to your, whoever the pursuer is needs to put that work in um, and establish that connection and, you know, so that a foundation can get started here. All right. So those are your messages. Hopefully it resonates. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.